I have so many dukes. My not giving anybody any kingdoms strategy is working. But I have 67 vassals now. I have a lot of things that boost the amount of vassals I can have. And I think for my renown, I'm actually going for something that will boost it even more. But I've still avoided handing out I kingdoms. Oh, have you? Did you not uh, remake and hand out the kingdoms yet? I bet. I remade them, but I get them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what I do. The only kingdom in my empires that I don't own is the kingdom of Pannonia. And it's just because they joined me as a kingdom. So, I mean... Technically, I can revoke it. If I asked right now, I would be able to... He would accept. If I asked, like, if I said, hey, give me your kingdom right now, he'd give it to me. He'd give me everything he owns if I asked, technically speaking. I'm honestly sort of tempted to do that, actually. <laughs> I, I didn't check until now. Everyone else said no. <laughs> Everybody else said no, so I'm kind of tempted to do that. But I don't mind him having the kingdom. Everybody, like, I'm going to have to hand out kingdoms eventually. I don't need him to not be a kingdom. What I don't like, though, is that he's not in my dynasty. And ugh, he he's a clan. He's a clan vassal. He's not a feudal vassal. I have bonuses for feudal vassals, not clan vassals. But now I need to convert Giza. But it has high development, so by the time it's fully converted and its control goes up, Maybe something good will happen. Wow, my wife has had her fourth daughter. Jesus Christ. What is with my family and only having daughters? We need men. Penises. Paulina, sure. Yeah, go ahead, Paulina. I'm going to keep assigning these like diplomatic focuses, I guess. Bossy children might struggle with diplomacy education now. Oh. Do well with martial education. Uh, you know, you're you're not my problem, actually. You're you're not my problem. My kid's fickle. I can make him not fickle if I take on some stress. This is my heir we're talking about here. The curious isn't so bad. It's a childhood trait. I didn't really have a say in that. He can become wrathful or forgiving. Forgiving is virtuous to Catholics. It gives similar buffs. Sorta. Hostile scheme resistance though versus uh minority vassal opinion. This I mean this seems pretty good. Minority vassal opinion. Minority vassals marginalized by the liege. Abandoned hook interaction. Prisoner opinion. That one's weird. But virtuous to Catholics. I'll spend some stress to make you forgiving instead of fickle. Sure. Why not? I still can't get the Kingdom of Egypt, though. Not until this war that seems rather new 13 months ago is over. I got a thing that made my truces shorter, so this truce is three years instead of five. And I now border the Kingdom of Jerusalem, so I'm pretty sure I'd be able to just attack Jerusalem next. And then we'd have Jerusalem. But if I do another war with them later, I can get Antioch. And if I have Jerusalem and Antioch, I can mend the schism, which makes all the Christians no longer friendly with us, and we can conquer them with holy orders. I wonder if I could do this all in this guy's lifetime. Theoretically. I, the, the truces would be fast enough, maybe the wars, so long as I don't die at the age of 50. With this terrible pope, both of these tasks have roughly a decade until they finish. It's going to take that long to really go through Giza. Great eminence. Ooh, on Victoria. Nice. Cool. Good job. Because I guess you would inherit if rages didn't, all the girls would inherit. So that's also not really the greatest. He's 10 years old. By the time this guy's 50, my heir will be 20. By the time this guy dies, my heir might be in his 30s, which I really don't like that. Well, Victoria can marry. There was an obscene amount of lag involved in opening this screen up. I guess I could just keep it playing for now. Well, no, I don't know. I, maybe not. Who should I have her marry matrilineally? Oh, this is interesting. The son of the Rex, the current king of Pannonia. That's quite interesting yeah we're not related that's for sure and he doesn't have any special traits or anything but it would get me a marriage with my most or yeah, an alliance with my most powerful vassal
which wouldn't mean that he would come help me. It just means I wouldn't have to worry about him revolting against me, at least not so long as this is the leader. He already kind of likes me enough anyway, and he's terrified of me, so I don't, I don't really know about that. But that's the most powerful one, apparently. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of characters. Going down the line, there's a 17-year-old guy that has the intelligent trait, so getting more of that in our bloodline could only be good. Rather than going for the alliance, we just bring in some traits. Get some prestige either way. Sure. Let's matrilineally do that marriage. Have fun, Victoria. I have a new perk. I'm gonna keep going down towards August. Alliance formed with the Prince of Denmark. What the hell? Is a county in Denmark? Oh, all right. Interesting. Africa's starting to look very Roman. Oh, am I finally home? Oh my god, I'm home finally. Holy shit. I've been waiting for this. Why do I have a dangerous faction? What is this? Oh my god, it's all the Muslims. It's all the Muslims. Yeah, they come to rise up. Yeah, there's just so many Muslims now in my nation that they're on the verge of rising up in 25 months. <laughs> it's just all of Africa, basically. <laughs> all right, well, I think I'll have to get ready to fight that then. Probably don't want to declare any wars. I am still tempted to do a, a pilgrimage though, or a grand tour or something. I could use some more money. Grand tour could get me more money. Everybody in Africa loves me, technically, but that's about to be a war zone, I think, so maybe I shouldn't go there. <laughs> maybe that's not the smartest. All right, everyone's set up for hold a feast. It's 21 months, two years. That's within the realm of like the truce, I guess. Costs a fuck ton of money to do this. We're not going to need experienced captains this time. We're going to need a mountaineer. And there still happens to be some danger somewhere along this line. Yeah, right up here, when we try to cross this bridge, there's a small chance of danger. I don't need prestige gain. I just want success on the tour more than anything. We're going to be going for recreation. And I could probably divert us around there somehow. All right, I have a route that looks like it'll work. It's 155 five to start it and it's going to be 22 months travel time it's not accounting for the actual stops but it'll make us some good money we should finish somewhere around the time the truce expires and be able to do the next holy war no war declarations until then we'll just wait for this faction to rise up and then we'll fight that i guess thankfully vassals end up trying to convert their own lands to their religion usually pretty quickly it's the cultures that usually end up lagging behind i can create the kingdom of moldavia why what happened why can i suddenly do that and what happened here someone went missing my dot wait what oh paulina's missing <sighs> oh my god intrigue and prowess challenge potentially find her or get ill um we'll make more than enough money i feel like we should just go find her we spend some prestige if i look myself i don't have intrigue but i do have prowess it doesn't show me any odds i don't want my daughter to get lost my life is worth more than 150 gold especially while we're on a money making thing all right we found her my infant daughter almost went missing the moment i started my grand tour did she walk away she's zero how did she can't walk <laughs> i have no idea how she got away so what happened to here why, why do i suddenly have stuff over here i have no idea um i gained money sword tax instituted yay okay uh what happened here was some sort of war fought over here Somehow I can suddenly make the kingdom of Moldavia, so I'm guessing stuff was taken over by my vassals? I don't know. The game doesn't really inform me when my vassals do something. Oh, I can get a learning thing. Court physician treatments improved. Um, Wars get more skilled. Culture fascination progress. Ooh. Gandhi. Give me that. Yeah, my that king is looking like his lands have expanded. I think he took some stuff over over there i don't know who from but I, I maybe bulgaria i didn't see him in any wars is the weird part but given that he has circled around part of bulgaria i'm thinking 
that it was Bulgaria. And my wife is pregnant again. Is it another daughter or is it finally a second son? Well, Kingdom of Moldavia. It's 250 money, 400 prestige. Sure. Sure, that's where a lot of this money's going is titles. Thankfully, we have the discount right now. And, oh gosh. Yeah, you're not taking my stuff, sir. You're not taking my individuals. You try to take my individual away from me. So this is the Kingdom of Moldavia. I got this a nation of Moldavia and a Kingdom of Moldavia. And the nation of Moldavia only has one small little settlement in the actual Kingdom of Moldavia. And I own the Kingdom of Moldavia. That is like the Duchy of Moldavia. Names are a funny thing. Oh my god, look at Africa. There's like a mega nation down there. What the fuck? Where, where did that come from? That was not there like a second ago. Jesus Christ. 65 counties. Pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. It, I swear to God, that was not there, but it's there now. Oh, I can roll for that gardener trade again. Or otherwise get down to earth again. Sure. Got down to earth again. And one of my daughters is ready to be educated. She's Catholic Roman, send her over to her mother. Your mother will teach you. A building finished in Turin. Got a favor hook on some guy that's just running around. Drinking binge. Ooh, no, I don't like that. Nope. It's the same events over and over again. I'm starting to just recognize them more and more. I can upgrade one of these buildings here in Rome for my military. Let's upgrade the uh, this one right here, because it'll... Theoretically, yeah, lower my men-at-arms maintenance some more. That's a big source of expenses for me. I have a vassal here. Of Hess. Duchy of Hess here. We've arrived somewhere. Let's begin. can't believe I was doing this on two times speed earlier. And I have a hook so I can change his contract back to a normal amount. So I will do that. I could also have demanded payment, but I think just getting the normal levies back is worth more in the long run because that's pretty hard to do my bastard son of my last ruler has divorced my last ruler's adopted daughter from that was a hostage from al andalus i let her out of jail eventually she uh yeah, she's having quite a time she has quite an eventful life I've had another daughter. Lucilla will be her name. My wife literally just had another daughter. I can't believe it. <laughs> just keeps having daughter after daughter after daughter. Oh no, my newborn daughter is sick. Oh no. She, she's gonna die. Well, some of the ways you get money in this tour event. You institute a dagger tax. All right. The leader of Al Andalus died, and Al Andalus split into like two or three parts. Gotta love it. Going on these grand tours ends up being the same thing roughly over and over again. I, every time I go on one of these, this happens, that happens. I just beat up another guy in the random, like, middle of the road again. So that happened again. Yeah, it's pretty repetitive. It really does get repetitive. It's very quantity, not very quality. Okay, those Muslims aren't strong enough anymore, apparently, to cause rebellion, so that's nice. I bet if I took over Jerusalem, they would get more strength. That would also probably helps that I think, slowly but surely, bits and pieces are getting turned to Catholicism. Like, a huge chunk of Africa that I took in the first Holy War we did, that is now Catholic. And it wasn't, clearly, because... We took it over today. I have 10 year conversions on culture and faith in Giza right now. So if assuming they had roughly a similar conversion to faith, then that makes sense. Cause it's been probably 10 years since we did that war. Oh shit. I finally have a better strong vassal that martial stuff. This guy is not a powerful vassal anymore, it seems, either. So we'll put a new powerful vassal. I believe this guy is powerful vassal. Yes, he is. And he actually has amazing stats for this job. Nobody is a better steward yet. The spy master is as good as can be. I don't think he's powerful. You know, he was never powerful. I picked someone that was just good at the job due to the importance of that job. I think everybody else here is powerful. I guess, I guess Siegfried is not powerful anymore unfortunately yeah no one event that happens over and over and over and over again in this tour is like someone starts choking or something or getting attacked i don't know and i could try to save their lives 
Most of the time, I, I succeed. I've only failed once. It's like a prowess check. So I just... I just go through that. Just constantly. I got a hook on someone. I'll demand payment because there's nothing in that contract really to change. Duchy of Delta? Yeah, I like just put this person there. Oh, wait, what? I didn't put a girl here. I put Arcadius here. Arcadius is dead already? What the fuck? How'd you die? Killed in a storm at sea. What were you doing at sea? Some, the person I gave the Duchy of the Delta to died in a storm at sea already. So his daughter's in charge. That was fast. Imagine you get your own Duchy and of the Delta no less. And then you die at sea of a storm. That sucks. It does, yeah, that, that does suck. Yeah, it's like I tell a joke and someone starts fucking dying. So I have to try to save them or like send someone else. But I have a lot of prowess. Apparently you need prowess to save someone from choking. You know, a prowess doesn't win you a fucking duel, apparently. <laughs> He's still salty about that. I'm so annoyed by that. It was such a stupid thing. It should not happen. If it's a prowess check, like it said, then it should just check prowess. If it's a mini game, they should tell you it's a mini game. It's that simple. And I still can't usurp the kingdom of Egypt because this guy is just never getting out of any wars. This tour is giving me tons of money again, though, so that's nice. Yeah, I should do one also again. My character's pretty much dying. I have no bodyguards, no personal champion. Well, I need a personal champion. Godless adventurer. Oh gosh. Is there anyone that would make a good bodyguard? I mean, not really. Irrational adventurer? Uh, hmm. Everyone below that is evil. Content atheist evil. Zealous empath. That's quite interesting. This guy wouldn't be too bad. Very compassionate, very zealous. Yeah, yeah, all right. This guy's related to me. We'll, we'll make you a bodyguard. And then I think I can make that other guy a bodyguard as well. That zealous empath. He's my knight and he loves me. And he's terrified of me. So that's always good, I guess. Whoa! That jumped. Game's very buggy. Personal champion. This godless adventurer. is Oh, he's my caravan master, among other things. There's nobody that doesn't already have a job. He's an acclaimed knight and the caravan master. Wow, that's funny. I'll give you this job. Better you than somebody else, I guess. And there you go. We could still have a food taster, but the only option that's remotely good is this content atheist that doesn't really like me very much. And he's not even Catholic. Another one of my daughters is ready to be edumacated. I'll send her to her mother. I'm not too involved in the later daughters at this point. I only really care too much if there's another son that gets born. Gotta check to see which one would make the better heir. But Rage is here. He's turning out all right. It's gonna be Rage is the third, if it counts that far. We get diplomacy per level of fame. That sounds pretty good. I can save her. We get this event literally over and over again. I've just memorized it and memorized my answers every time. It's so hard to narrate when you get just the same events over and over again. Damn, we have 39 Diplomacy. I have 39 Diplomacy and 20 Marshal. That's pretty nice. I have another whore trying to cheat on her husband with me. I'm gonna tell on her again. It's just, it's not as exciting when it keeps happening. We're almost in the year 1000. Aw oh, shit, 999, let's go baby. Transylvanian Alps. I could change something about your contract. Religiously protected. I could get rid of that. The levies are probably less important. It's tyrannical, but my tyranny is almost up. So I thought I'd be a little bit tyrannical. Why not? There's also someone up here that I have high taxes with, which is not something that I actually want. Because it'll make whoever rules there hate me or any of my children more. I think I've probably passed over him already. There's no way to sort to find them easier, which is quite annoying. Oh, here he is, perfect. He loves me, but I don't want him to like hate my kid because of this. So I'm gonna put I this after the storm, call down it. to I'm normal. Tired. Okay. 
I found a guy that had high taxes with me and I put him back down to normal. Because I don't want him to hate my son or something when he takes over. And I'm going around tyrannying anybody that has non-standard contracts. Closer to normal. Wow, I have money again. I actually like ran out after that war in Egypt. Because I was just making so much stuff, spending just so much in general. But my coffers are filling up again. It's wonderful. Also doing a lot of building. I did so much building. I'm also constantly building. It's very expensive. Speaking of building, I could build something new here. Yeah. Okay. Let's build something new here. Like a blacksmith. We have the spearman here, is what I just decided on in the end. The blacksmith will do fine for now. I know we're not keeping that fruit farm. I know that we're not. It's not like we host feasts anyway. It doesn't even give that much money. I'm finally required to have 10 grandeur. That's new. Well, I clearly don't need that much. Because we just have so many bonuses as it is. I could probably lower certain things. I know they complain if you're under three. I'll just lower the lodgings from four to three for right now. This will make this a teeny bit cheaper. I can have a bit more money. There's no point going really above level 10. I could have lowered it even further, but I I'll just give it some time to adapt for now. It's only a year-long timer anyway. If you're a poet, you can write someone a poem detailing the person's incompetence. Yeah. And if you succeed with diplomacy skill, you can send them into a stress break. I can kill someone with poetry. What the fuck? My wife is pregnant. She's 42. You get pregnant at 42? What the fuck? All right, that's gotta be the last kid. Holy shit. This is a perfect time to have a second son. I just have so many daughters just everywhere. There's just daughters. They're everywhere. They are. She's already had six kids. Five of them are daughters. Ooh, damn, you can get way more money when you try to do the actual tax option from the event from a, a king than any duke. Slightly over two times the money, which is about what I expected. You finally got your islands? Yeah, it took some time. Yeah. Uh, I fought long wars for single counties before. Constantinople is up to giving me 10 gold a day. It keeps going up, slowly but surely. Damn, random event gave me 150 gold from the taxing. I can send the Caliph of the Arabian Empire a poem detailing his incompetence. 99% chance to just give him 36 stress. Damn, he's old. Yeah, he's been child killing for a very long time. <laughs> he's stealing their youth. That's how he keeps going. Seriously? Oh, my friend Thomas is dead. He's dead. I had Ivan. No, listen, I had Ivan. 1% chance that I would die. I've had those events, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've taken those about half a dozen times so far, and it's terrifying every time I do. Man. I just but failed my own 1% chance thing a, a moment ago. But it wasn't for death. Well... You're dead. Well, your tour's yeah. done. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this leader hates me. He wants all my shit. Your leaders are starting to look less and less like their ancestors as time goes on. Who the hell are you marrying? Because the the mother of this character was uh, from China somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say this guy. This guy looks almost like a Mongolian. This mother yeah. probably is Mongolian. Tibetanese. Oh, Tibetan. Oh, she's Tibetan. Yeah. So now your leaders are just looking less English. And some weird, like, white Mongolian hybrid. <laughs> Meanwhile, my leaders at this point look less and less Roman and just more English as time goes on. They look like, they're starting to look like a weird, like, mixture of... Well, you know what my leaders are? Is they're a mixture of Italian, French, and English. And honestly, that's exactly what this looks like. That's what a lot of my family is. Because I think the, the current... My current wife is... I got from your country, but her parents are someone that was like of yours, one of your vassals, an Englishman, and the, the mother was a Carling. I have a lot of Carling blood and your blood in my family. There's probably more of that than there is Italian at this point. 
So I'm just some weird French English hybrid. So uh, I'm like a real life Brit, actually. Yeah. You, meanwhile, are becoming lots of things. Yeah, you're you're like a I don't even know what you are. You're like in a mixture of Italian, British, and now Tibetan. And the Tibetan really shows on this one. Yeah. It doesn't really it's show on the next on the one. Siblings. Not yet. Yeah, some of these some of these siblings came out looking very Tibetan. At least this guy's a genius. I almost had a genius leader, but then I went with someone else. And I got robust. I think the genius was a girl, actually. Yeah, my son is a genius and hill. But he's sickly too, so I have to watch out for him. Oh yeah, that's a sickly little two-year-old. Hale and genius, that's pretty good. Who did you marry this time? Because you're, you're really putting the, like, the English back in there. Tool house, this is a Frenchie. That's a good way to get the English back in. There's enough English <laughs> interbred into the French right now. Because they're all coming out redheads now. All my kids have been coming out so lightheaded. Some of them are redheaded. A lot of them ends up being blonde. A lot of them have been blonde, but more recently, the more of your blood gets in here, they're coming out redhead more. We both have 6,000 money, like almost exactly. Hey. Wow. Nice. Incredible. Oh, I can create Egypt now. Yay. The dude lost it somehow. I have Egypt. That's good. Now I'm their proper leader. Gonna be a feast that everyone will like me. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm gonna sell it up, but I'm not gonna go through with it. Emperor Narfi Thomason. Interesting name. I demand a hostage. Give me your son. Oh shit, I've been overwhelmed by stress because my friend died. What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? I can lose stress? And get the trait athletic. That that doesn't seem like a punishment. Oh, that's nice. That doesn't. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Do that. that doesn't seem like a punishment. All right. Well, shit. There you go. I'm athletic now. I'm healthier. Yeah, that gives me a small boost of health, bonus of stress loss, and prowess. Nice. That's a fame trait. I think it's more a stress trait at this point. I got so stressed that I started jogging every day. <laughs> And also in your decisions, you also get an option to uh, to work out off some stress. Mm, yeah. I think well, I got to get off of the um, the tour before I can do that. But yeah, I can talk to a confidant, yeah. and now I can even work off some stress. Although you get sweaty stench for an entire year, which makes everybody dislike you oh. a little bit. One hell of a workout. Yeah, I'm I'm amazed anyone would mind a sweaty stench in this era where in most places showering was a twice a year affair at best. Yeah, well. Unless you'd have like a Roman public bath, but that's not very common. Romans loved bathing, but almost nobody else did. Not until like the past 100 years. Okay, I think I'm going to save this. Okay. We are in the year 1000. Hey, we're millennials. Well, our children are millennials. <laughs> the older children are millennials. If we go by the logic, the Zoomers are being born now.